Welcome back, Star Trek fans, to another episode of Star Trek Online Academy by Old Bob 10025. Now, a lot of people have been asking me about the Solanine suits and basically how to go get the Lobby Crystal versions. Now, what you got to do is, and I'll show you exactly like what I'm talking about here, so you can, yeah, ground gear and the, the either the Sentinel or the Paladin suit. Both of them are exactly the same, but except for the color, one's black, one's white. And basically, what you got to do is get three, run the episode three times, which is uh, um, I'll show you what the episode is in just a second. Run the episode three times. First one you get, and you get either or, like whatever ones you want to get, depending on your choices. Now um, I'll show you exactly where to go in, in this episode, exactly where to go, and and what choices will actually give you which suit. So you don't have to worry about that. But you need one soul, one horser, one marksman, and one striker environmental suit, and, and also fifty lobe crystals to get this suit right here. Or this suit right here. So, let me go ahead and go ahead and show you which episode it is. Nope. Oh, the episodes. Now you have to do all these episodes first before you get to this to the Dyson Sphere one, all the way down to the Step Between the Stars. I can't do mine for another twenty minutes, but I'll I'll show you like later on. So you got to pick that one, and it's going to give you either. That's cool. going to give you either the 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 shield array. The hyper efficient impulse engines, or the warp core, or the flector way. You've got to do um, do it four times in order to go and get it. So I'm going to show you on the third one. Because I only have two suits right now to go ahead and go ahead and get the. I'm probably going to get the paladin suit. I'm probably going to get the paladin suit. It's kind of nice. So, but uh, and you got to use the lobby crystals in order to get that. So, so like I said, grab your lobby crystals. You need 50 of them. Now in order to get lobby crystals, uh, in another episode. But you generally have to go ahead and. Them with keys to open up lock boxes, and and either you can purchase the keys with money, generally about a dollar ten, I believe, per key, or you could go purchase it with in-game money, which is energy credits to go ahead and get those. Well, which is I think like four point five million at the time right now. So, uh, further ado, I'll go ahead and show you the episode and show you really quick about how to which choices will give you what. That way, when you play the game three times in order to go ahead and get them, you won't actually actually pick the same choice twice. So give it a second and uh, let's go ahead and play the episode. Welcome back. Okay, now we're at the destination of a uh, step between the stars. So you can see a little mission outlet like this. Uh, begin a step between the stars. I'll show you exactly where I'm going to stop at a certain spot, exactly where you need to actually make the choice in order to get all the different suits of armor. So I'll go through it in detail and I'll just fast forward through all this. Okay, at this point, you're actually going to want to go ahead and um, really pay attention to this point. At, um, right after you get to all the power, we're like working right after you do the little puzzle thing. So, here we go. Allow me, Doctor. Fascinating. With this exposed, I can manually activate the defenses in the next room. However, there is another possibility. Instead of activating the defenses to assist you, I can reroute the power to attempt to send a message to our stranded ship. It may not help, but we have been out of contact for hours. Your options are activating the defense beams, activating swarmers, or using none of them. Okay, at this point, you're gonna actually gonna decide what you want to do. So, in order to get the marksman armor, you need the beam defense. In order to get the enforcer armor, you need the swarm defense. In order to get the strike armor, you need no defense. So, since I already have I got already the marksman and the enforcer. I will also want the striker. So, last one I got the beam. So I'm going to go and pick what are odds without any defenses. I'm going to go through the best thing. I cannot recommend it. However, if you choose to do so, I will support you. So it's going to be a little bit harder. So just let you know um, as far as like what's going to go on. So I'm going to go pick best defense rule. Fight the boss without any support. This sets this sets in motion of the of the suit you're gonna get later on as a striker armor um, suit. And so what's gonna happen is they're gonna retrieve the suit and get the striker armor. Okay, uh, Dyson EB suit collector has an accolade since I got all three suits. So let me go ahead and show you. So now I have all three suits. So I got the striker. The enforcer and the marksman. Now the marksman, you got to pick beam defense. The enforcer, you have to pick swarmer defense and the striker. You got to pick no defense. 
that's how you go ahead and do this. So in order to put it on, obviously you guys have this already, hopefully. And if not, here it is right here. So put it on your body there. Off. Hit this button there. Put it on. Now we're going to go through the different mission. I'm going to go fast forward through all this until the end and show you about the Lobby Crystals. Um, basically, I'll fast forward through this a lot. So I'll show you about the Lobby Crystals, about how to go get it, and go from there. And uh, just give me a second. Okay, so we finished it. <laughs> Thank God. Here, here, here. Let me get my rewards real quick. Since I already have these two items, shield and pulse engine, get the deflector ray. Now the only way to get the other ship or the other part, which which you need, is that here, is the um, uh, only way to get the other part, which is the. Uh, the overcharge a warp core unit by that ship that we're just actually in. So that kind of sucks. That's how they get money, but that's okay. That's how any kind of corporation actually makes money of itself because of that. So, so I got the set there. So then I got this set. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to turn these in and turn them into the set I want. But I go to use. All the way down to ground gear. See, now I can get either one of these. So I'm going to get this suit right there. These are both the same. Uh, there's a lot of radiation damage, fire damage, damage, crit chance, crit severity. So it's not bad. It's not a bad little suit, though. So I'm going to keep this suit. I'm going to use this one. Buy. Sure, went to buy the Sentinel Environmental Suit to Mark 12. But yes, I do. Now, you can also go through it three more times and get the Paladin suit if you want. So that's up to you to go ahead and do. So boom, I turned those three into this suit right here. So there you go, guys. Really appreciate you watching. I know you can watch other YouTubers, and I know you can basically appreciate you watching mine. If you have any questions or comments, post them down below. We'll be able to get to you on that. And I really appreciate it. And definitely, you know, enjoy the game for what it is. Try to find out different things. Don't get burnt out like a lot of people do. And just have fun at it. That's all you got to do. Anyways, have a good night, and I will see you on the final frontier. Target 